Well, it's a problem that started to skyrocket almost a year ago and has not seen much relief. Now state lawmakers are hoping to fix a strained unemployment system struggling to keep up with the demand. And WJZ is live right now. Paul Gessler on the legislation and where Maryland ranks in getting timely benefits to those who need it. Paul. Denise, today marked the fifth week in a row unemployment claims in Maryland have risen. More than 50,000 new claims adds to the logjam with which the state is already challenged. The state has not been able to live up to its end of the bargain. Unemployment insurance problems have plagued Maryland for more than nine months. This unemployment insurance program is supposed to help Marylanders at a low point when they've lost a job. It's failed. Most states recently have not met the 87% federal standard of delivering unemployment benefits within 21 days. But Maryland, in particular, is near the bottom, according to labor statistics, only meeting that three week payment 37% of the time. It's got to improve. Marylanders deserve way better than, being, uh, than having a system that's the worst in the country. Democratic lawmakers are pushing an array of bills to address the failures, including modernizing payment through direct deposit and better staffing call centers, as so many Marylanders have struggled getting a hold of someone about their claim. This was an extraordinary case this, with this pandemic, but it highlighted that our system is broken. They shouldn't take members of the General Assembly our intervention in order for the system to work. A bill would also better allow people to track their claim. The pandemic woke a sleeping giant, and all of a sudden the giant has taken over. Another bill would require the Department of Labor to create a disaster protocol to plan for another potential future employment crisis. Reporting live at 5 tonight, I'm Paul Gessler for WJZ.